Hello everybody, well this is a video, I'm going to try it, a little video if I'm in a good position. Anyway, um, I'm going to make a nail and as it always is, it goes with the flow. I have prepped it, my nail, with a little bit of, let me see, uh, OPI bond. And cleaned it of course, take off the old stuff. And then now I am having the um, C and D um, sculptin gel, and this one is the um, let me get it the neutral pink opaque. So um, then I'm doing it like this. I uh, put a small amount and I massage it very good on it like this. Can you see it all? It's a little bit awkward for the camera. Um, these two fingers are now the ones that happened. I massage it really good in it also here. Not in the side walls, but the sculpture gel doesn't have that. Let me get a little so into the lamp for a few and then I am um, not building a whole nail because I am on my natural nails. I'm not uh, um, making um, an enhancement. Um, I just wanted to, to make them a little bit more firm. And so this one is like a, a baby boom with, I think I'm going to do the same as the others, with a little bit green that's fading out. And then above that. Uh, if the shape is not right or then I do a little bit clear or I do a UV top coat so this is going out that's enough and then I'm taking my gel a little blob as I call it I'm putting my fingers down I'm putting it at the top here I'm patting it a little bit to the left dragging it down Taking, staying in contact with the gel and then going to the other side also taking it down like this and patting and staying always in contact with the gel and then also in front and then going a little bit backwards not on the cuticles also not on the side walls staying in contact as a, a little bit like floating floating around and then it is marvelous self-leveling gel then I'm looking like that how is the arch and then I drag it to the front because I just want to um, make the natural nail a little bit more stronger and then I have my wooden sticks and I keep out of the side walls I don't want it there I hold it on top, let me get it here, also out of the side walls like that. I hold it on top, put on the lamp and freeze it. And that's one nail. And then the last, um, when I'm doing uh, my top coat, then I give exactly the amount of time. But as I go in and out the lamp, I just freeze it and move on to the other nail. Uh, that works fine for me. I am so pleased that I can use um, this gel. I mean, smashing, no reaction, nothing at all. And that, well, gives me joy. I mean, I would love to have some customers coming to my saloon and working with that as well. Um, so now I'm taking it out, going on to the other nail, taking a blob of the gel. Uh, let me put it otherwise it get affected. Uh, putting it on let me tilt it down my nail, putting it back on the here and in the middle, then going with my uh, pencil a little bit to the right, staying in contact, a little bit motion moving movement and going to the other side then dragging the gel where I want it always stay in contact 
and the marvelous thing from this gel is that if you do it uh, put it on the right spots you hardly have to foul after it or buffing or yeah, I buff it a little with the buffing block but you don't have much to foul so that saves a lot of time that's good that's good this side is good and I think it's smashing here yeah, a little bit low doing like this dragging it there where I want it going up over the top for getting the right right um, shape and then it goes into the lamp um, after, after this I'm gonna uh, look how it's come it's coming out and then when I'm doing my, the green I'll, I'll come back with you so I'm back and this started quite well what I did so I do it again you just make a smile line as you please I do it like this and you just tap it on or how you would like it don't forget the front because it always looks better if that is also sealed it stays better don't have to be perfect because well you see in a minute why not the smile line I see here a bit that I want to do so I'm still doubting if I put my face on YouTube I don't know it's I'm still hesitate for it so if you have an idea for me let me know anyway let me know if you want to see me um, you take a little bit rubbing alcohol and then a small pencil and you do like this you drag it for fading it if you know what I mean I like to fade it and then here, like here you, it was not all the way through so I fade it out and that's smashing I think and then you put it in the lamp you make your pencil clean on a servet or whatever you like a nappy or how you call them and then you wait for a little and you take it out and then I take from the ac acrylic paint I make small dots and let me get it here and then beside the black dots I do some silver dots and that's it actually I will get back oh well let's, let's see how it goes I won't stop it just talk a little bit and tell you a bit um, yesterday it was the day before Mother's Day and this year is the first year that both of our mothers are gone not gone in the way of our mind but not physically in the physically world anymore here they are passed away and for some reason I'm not all that upset not at all actually I'm, I'm rather happy here in the saloon I have two candles burning let me get it uh, can I get it to show you um, well no then I forget it anyway I've got two uh, candles burning for them and they're rather busy right now so I feel them hit their hair in my present and um, I'm happy for that so I'm not, not depressed not at all I'm um, happy once that my mother hasn't have any more pain because she had she had a lot of pain in the past years and uh, she's with me here right now in my mind in my my feelings and also my mother-in-law which also was a, a very 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 sweet woman okay before I bowel too much then I take my rubbing alcohol and take away you know what I don't want on it the, 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 the sticky layer or, and no I don't like it how it comes turns out so let me get another I do want to see a little bit 
of the of the green i mean not all fading so that's also what you're gonna see you're gonna see here how i'm doing it and how i like it and not like oh it's all no i just want it all there and then oh that was that was what i'm talking about that was about yesterday and so we had a lovely lovely day for the sales some people especially came out of another city and that was that was nice and uh, we had uh, some nice sales and to be honest with you it was the first time so many so i was pleased i was happy like it was a present from my mother and mother-in-law let's call them the both mothers for here for you <laughs> that was how i felt and it was really really nice i make presents which i wrap in in nice paper and crafts which i sell and the reaction from the people were so so happy that made me happy so that was nice and uh, i was happy with it actually what i'm doing now I, I did a little bit more green on it because it's also from cnd I guess you can hear see here, see the shellac. The green is called limeade, limeade, very nice color. And if I if, if something that doesn't turn out as I want it to be, I, I try it again, or sometimes it fails, or whatever. Anyway, um, then I have some acrylic here, which I bought, bought on eBay. I don't uh, hide for saying that I'm buying on eBay. I start in the middle. And then going to one side and then going to the other side and then another blob on it. You can also dab it on the on, on the towel which I have dabbed. Oh well if you did also this also works. So you go this way and then you go oops oopsie. That's too much. No, it's not not enough. Otherwise, it's too much. So like that, and then I take that off because black is always very dominant. I put on the lid because it turns to dry out. And that's not what I want. And let me get uh, the silver. Yes, here now. I have to shake it a bit. And there are people who say, "Oh, you can't use that together with the UV top coat." Well, I'm changing my nails so much. I don't have it on for three weeks, so <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all if it doesn't stay that long on it. So I do it look like this. A little oh she did she that's a little bit too much and then in between I put on I hope you can see the results at the end just a little to make it more sparkly and so I can't say it enough. I'm so happy that I can do this. If you can't do a thing which you like, then I put it in the lamp. Uh, then you know what you'll miss, and this is, this is making me happy. I got some fuel, um, uh, foil um, glue yesterday. This was this from Art Lalique. Works superb with my foils. And I did my pinky with also dots on it and then the, the foil. Very elegant way. And well, yeah. You can do a lot with it. I had this color on for a few weeks now. And this one is with silver dots from CND and then with your dotting tool through it. Really nice. And uh, it doesn't chip at all. Look, here is what is growing out. And no chipping at all, no 
chipping at all so I'm happy for that and um, yeah I am using the C and D top coat also and that's let me get it this one from Shellac because it shines so much so marvelously so nice and I I tried the severals and I think this one beats it all I also have glaze and go and I do it on different nails so I, I can compare them how they how they kept the top if one shines more than the other glaze and go does shine very good when you start but for my opinion it doesn't lo last that long and this one it shines and shines and shines over and over and over every day so I like that so now I do the front I cap it I try to get everywhere and uh, it gives me joy so put on the light getting it in the light so yeah that was it for today actually um, cleaning with the little pad with the alcohol on it but this I gave the full two minutes because uh, then it's it hardens enough and you go in and out the lamp so when you start you just free, freeze it that it doesn't run and then you can work if you work with two of course with a client with, with one pair of hands it makes two hands then you can one hand in one hand out and then you don't have to take uh, to do all the 120 seconds in my opinion um, I have two lamps so it goes in and out but for my, my myself I just use one lamp and um, I stick with the UV. I, I don't. I don't know. The LED is. It seems to be faster, and the other new one, the, the combination of LED and, and and UV, but I find them rather expensive. And as my clientele amount, I would love to have more clienteles in my saloon. So for now, I first have to earn a little money, then I can, and then I can invest again. And. Um, yeah, that's it actually. I, I, I think it's it's splendid that um, I have um, the possibility to, to do gel nails for myself. I don't think I can work with uh, acrylic. I did. I don't have tried the C and D acrylic, so I can't say a thing about that. But I, I'm so happy that I can have this. That I am like, well, let's keep it like this and don't. <laughs> Don't go for uh, get an allergic that, that that because I can't have acrylic. So then I take off like this a little bit. Also for that I use only rubbing alcohol because my allergies. And this is how it looks. I think it looks smashing. I hope you all can see it. Oh, by the way, this was the dots from the foil. I think it looks smashing also for brides, very nice, very elegant. So one hand is now all the same. <laughs> okay, that's this. Okay, this was it for so far. If you have any uh, comments or you want to say something, let me know. And for now, I would say thank you for watching and until next time, bye.